Hey guys, it's Misty. Happy Friday. Welcome back to another phony on Friday. This card is a lesson and that not all things can be faux neon. So I, I don't think I'm in love with this card. I don't even know if I like this card, but you guys watch it till the end and let me know what you think. So I knew that I wanted to use this marmold background stamp. I absolutely love it. And I had a completely different idea in mind for this card than where it ended up. I think it looks like a bad 80s hair band um, album cover. You guys let me know what you think. <laughs> so I'm going to start by stamping this with black archival ink. And then I'm going to stamp the rows from the Graceful Garden stamp set onto a piece of Whisper White with Versamar Versifying excuse me, Onyx Black ink. And I'm going to do the same thing I did in Monday's or Tuesday's card, excuse me, and that is Heat Emboss and then um, color it. Now, initially when I was gonna color this, I was just gonna use blender pens and hope to be as careful as I could be. And I ended up using, I mean, it just turned into a hot mess hula hand. You guys, you guys will see. Just you wait, just you wait. So as I started coloring this, I initially thought that I would use markers on the acrylic block and then I decided that I wasn't getting the color payoff that I wanted here with my blender pen. So after I finish this leaf, I'm going to pull in a Daffodil Delight ink pad and I'm going to color um, using the Daffodil Delight and then finally the Melon Mambo. I wanted this to be one of those roses that is like a different color. Um, on the tips than it is at the bulb. Is that what you call it? Bloom? Blossom? I don't know. Um, I love the pink ones that have that little touch, the yellow ones that have that little touch of pink at the top. So that's what I tried to recreate here. Um, this was a very dangerous endeavor. I mean, not dangerous in the way that I was going to get hurt, but I'm really oversaturating this regular piece of Whisper White. So if you do this, make sure you either use a really light hand or you just go ahead and use some um, watercolor paper. So this is where I still kind of like this rose. Um, I'm still thinking that, oh yeah, this is going to be really pretty and I'm doing a really great job. And then I keep going and I'm going to get to the point where I feel like I kind of went a little overboard, but you guys let me know. If some of you guys think it's great, maybe it'll help sway my decision because honestly, a little bit to me like, oh yeah, no, that's pretty. And then I'm like, <gasps> what did I do? What did I do? So after I finish this, I'm going to bring in, um, oh, I'm going to go ahead and do the um, stem and the leaves with the lemon lime twist. And then I'm going to bring in some tempting turquoise ink and you guys can probably guess what's about to happen. <gasps> oh, I'm going to do the halo effect again. And at first I was going to use the blender pen and then I decided that I wanted to use that wink Stella, which was full of water. So I am doing that here on the block with the wink Stella with the water and it i'm really lucky that it didn't soak through this paper so honestly i don't know what i was thinking i just really love that effect from monday and i thought this was a good way to bring in all the colors from you know phony on friday and it not be you know just so literal but i don't know like i said i i just don't know i just don't know what to think you guys tell me down below so I'm going to dry that with my heat tool real quick and then I'm going to cut this out using my paper snips. When I started this, I cut it out. I'm a pretty big border as you can see there. Then I went ahead and brought in my paper snips and took some of that blue border off. Um, you can see it's, it's getting to be a little 80s album cover, around sure. <laughs> So after I do that, I'm going to bring in some mini dimensional adhesive and add that to the back of the flower. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to take some snail and I'm going to add that to the back of this card layer because I'm going to add in some ribbon. Used the mini Stampin' Dimensionals on the stem 
and then the large stamping dimensionals on the actual flower so I just added some snail because I cannot for the life of me find my scotch tape <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and put this down and then I'm going to tie up oh no I'm gonna put this down with dimensionals onto the card base and then I'm gonna work on getting a bow tied and get it added so here I was just like oh no what did I do <laughs> Let me add whatever I need to do to fix it. So I'm going to tie a bow using the lemon lime um, ribbon and then I'm going to use three or four glue tot, excuse me, glue dots to attach this to the card. And then I decided I wasn't done. I went ahead and pulled in my black Sharpie and a package of white perfect accents and I colored one large, two mediums, and two smalls, I believe. Um, and added those in on top and then on the bottom. Maybe? No, just on top? Nope, I did. Top and bottom. So yeah, so that's it, guys. <laughs> Again, let me know what you think down below. Uh, I don't know. I'm really on the fence and would love to hear what you have to say about it. So I will see you Monday. Bye for now. <laughs>